Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at another Transformers Legacy for you guys, but another for the Evolution line, so yeah. So I went to my local Walmart by uh, Perlan, and I got one of the figures that unfortunately is not going to be for me, is for one of my boys who are actually going to do a trade. But he told me to do a video of this, so long story short, happy now, anyways. Uh, so the figures I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take a look is this right here. If the box can stop being a dick. This is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Toxic Drunk Collection Series. This one we have here is G2 Universe Side Swipe. So before we continue on, you guys do me a little bit of quick favor, so I'll be right back. Hey you! Stop what you're doing! Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy your day. So anyways, like I said, I got in a Walmart for the for original price of the Lux class of $25. And here's what the packaging style is going to look like. I still need to get the rest of the other Toxic, toxic Chunk Collection figure. And by the way, the leader classes are now $22 on clearance. So if you guys actually want to get it, go ahead and get it now. Which I do recommend if you guys uh, were waiting for it and want to go low down the price. So yeah. So here's what the packaging style is going to look like right here. Pretty fantastic. You can see the artwork of of Sai Sui in his vehicle mode, looking very, very pan, pan, no, fantastic. Fantastic. You can see one side right here. You can see Sai Swipe artwork right there, looking so cool. I actually like it a lot. On the other side, we can see the one side of the artwork for the half of the legacy poster. Nothing on the top. Nothing on the bottom. And you can see the side of the packaging right there showing off right there. It's transformed to 16 steps, so yeah. Of course, this figure is just a straight repaint, so yeah. I don't know how many times we've seen this mold, so yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the accessories that Sideswipe side comes with and take a look over the figure. So here are the accessories, which, like I said, is just a straight repaint. So you can see this one right here. Uh, Cas, I don't know what kind of shit it blue it is, uh, well, I don't know what kind of this color is by the way, but it is casting this color right here looking pretty cool, and it's pretty nice to be honest with you, of course it does have a little pickle right there because this one was belongs to, if I can remember I think Siege Red Alert was the one that belongs to that one, and you, there's two ways if you have the little light bar, you could use it as a melee weapon or of course a gun, got the Part of the uh, Bazooka Blaster. Now there's a pig right there. Or of course there's a tab right there. So yeah. And of course this part of the missile. Which is cast in yellow. But is painted over in this very dark blue. I think it was like English blue or something. I'm not sure. That is actually pretty cool to be honest with you. So yeah. So, of course we're going to take a look over the figure. I mean the figure in vehicle mode. So here it is. So here it is. Side swipe in his vehicle mode. This is the... Or this is the uh, kingdom version of this one right there, of side swipe, which we already take a look at it. So yeah, um, like I said, I have no clue how many times we have steel with this mold, or how many times Hasbro was releasing this mold during the, I think the War for Cybertron line. I mean, I, I actually lost count of it. So yeah, so. Facts about this fake about this one. It was uh, originally during the nineties. This was actually cancelled. And to be honest with you, I have no clue why. But I will actually like to see Hasbro releasing the old classic toy of this one. Like the what the original G2 color scheme. So yeah. So anyways, the painted scope to the detail on this figure, this figure is pretty good. Um yellow fade to this blue right there, where you can see the little bit of green right there in the middle. Looking pretty fantastic. This light blue right here in the bottom right there, I mean on the side, and the bottom of course, and of course I think you got the same thing on the tires now. Tires in a different different color right here, but you can see the, the bottom, everything right there. Oh my god, that is so bright. And here's the one thing I actually do like about Side Swipe, is this part right there. The sunset part. Now, be very careful dealing with this part because most of the people getting a bunch of getting reports a paint chipping. So, in other words, handle what this figure would care because of this, this, and this. And I get this too. So, yeah. Uh, it, he does roll pretty well, to be honest with you. And like I said, I actually do like this 
this uh, this side swipe side swipe right here. It looks fantastic compared to the items we have. This one is actually much better, and I like this one is the uh, the the window part is cast in like in transparent and blue, pretty my one of my favorite color. Oh, uh, different shade of blue right there. You can you can barely you can see it right there, but yeah. Yeah, I do have actually a problem with this one, which I, I don't know why, but this doesn't doesn't want to go all the way in. I don't know. I think that's how it is or something. Or maybe I'm just that stupid. Probably stupid. So, yeah. He does have some pay calls and for vehicle mode, weapon storage. One here, one here, one here. So, we can store the gun here or on the side, of, on the top of the roof or, of course, here. So, yeah. And of course, for the rocket, of course, it has the peg on it. You can store it. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna run away. No, wait. I think I'm gonna face in the other wrong way. There we go. And for the rocket, you could plug it in on top of it or to the side. Like I said, you have some options for it. You could do whatever you want. So, yeah. There's actually not much to say about it. It's just the vehicle motor looks fantastic. I, I love it a lot. So that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So we can start it off with the transformation, which is easy and simple. First thing to do is by removing the weapons. So let's remove that out of the way. First thing to do, what I like to do is flip the chest piece. No, don't flip the chest piece up. I'm an idiot. Well, I like to start it off with flipping this side piece first. And flipping up the panels from the shin area of the legs. Because you want to bring all this out. Like that. Then next to do, bring the feet down like this. But the other one is kind of a bit difficult, I don't know why. So if you had that issue, I recommend to have this, pull this piece down so you can have that flipping down, and by the way, flip this piece down carefully. After that, close up the shins so you can cover up the feet. <clears throat> Split the legs like that. Twist the body around 90 degrees, and you got the legs finished up. Now, for the rest of it. Bring the arms out, have the arms out like that, strain it out like that. Then you bring this piece in, side like that, then you bring the chest up like that. Next thing to do is bring this whole front part of the car, bring it down. Make sure you plug this piece in. And if you guys remember my clampdown review, I actually had some issue with my copy. And now this one doesn't want to close in, and I have no clue why. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. Something is not right. Is something is like interfering of the transformation or something? I'll be right back, you guys. All right. I want to do a little bit of repairs. I think I sent it down the the side tabs of it a little bit on um, this figure right here. So I had to send it a little bit, and it now is perfectly close. Thank God. I actually might have to, I might actually have to do like videos so I had to repair this. I probably could. I am up. Uh, uh, you know, I am actually going to do it how to repair figures on. Here on YouTube and TikTok. If TikTok doesn't get banned in the US, so yeah. So, after you're done finishing up closing the chest piece right there, make sure you straighten up the figure, and there you go. Here we have G2 Sideswipe in his robot mode. Holy shit, this is actually pretty cool. Now, from a cancel toys, cancel figure during from the 90s, what do I think about this? This is actually pretty cool. Now, there's some people actually hate this figure because it's too bright. And the color scheme is kind of a bit, well... I have no word to say, but this is actually pretty cool. I actually love this figure so much. 
All right, there is actually one thing I kind of have a tiny complaint about is the face. The head scope is actually pretty nice. I like it, but the face. Uh, like, you barely see the face, like the mouth, like, like, jeez. So, if I have my own copy of this figure, I might have to paint it probably this color or the one from the box art. I I don't know, to be honest with you. But yeah. So anyways, the painting is up to the detail of this figure looks good. The painting of it is fantastic. And I love it a lot. Now, the one thing I actually do like about it, it has the G2 logo on the side of the arm. That's actually pretty nice. And I actually do like it a lot. And there's actually no f issue with this figure. Like, no kibbles in the way. This is just a clean, beautiful Transformer figure with a clean pack pack. No kibble on the, like, no vehicle kibble, like, interfering of the, of the articulation of the legs. No vehicle kibble interfering of the arms. I think I already said this in my side swipe video with the two pack, but this is fantastic. Articulation wise, our head can go 360 degrees because it's on the ball joint. Can't look up that far, can't look down that far, and the head can pivot side to side. Arms does go full 360 right there. It does go in and out. Swap out the bicep right there. A 90 degree bend right there. Wrist can go in and out, but not during the transformation. So that's gonna suck about no wrist swivel. You do have a waist swivel, pretty fantastic also. Leg could go forward that far, back that far. And of course the leg can go in and out like that. You do have a thigh swivel right there, but it's kind of a bit limited. A somewhat 90 degree bend of the knee right there, so yeah. Angle pivot. Like that. So, you do have a bunch of options for articulation. And by the way, for, for of course, putting on the weapons, there's two slots right there, but of course, well, they have to pick on this side. So, we plug it in right here. You plug it in the weapon over here on this gun. And that's actually pretty cool. So, yeah. For a cancel toll, will never be, for a figure that has been, have been released during the 90s. I think this is actually one of my favorite Transformer figures in my life, in my history. But what do you guys but what do you guys think? Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? So yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give in the final pose to give you guys my final results, so I'll be right back. Overall, G2 Universe Sideswipe is actually one of the good figures that I actually like a lot. Now, if you guys have your own opinion about this figure, leave the comment down below what do you guys what uh, what do you like about it, what do you hate about it? And I guess that pretty much is it. For me, I like it because the colors is so cool. It's so bright and plus so beautiful. This is like a work of art. Damn. This is this is a, this is lovely. I'm I'm sorry, but this is so beautiful. Oh I love it. Anyways, um I'm gonna end this right here, you guys. So have fun so safe and I'm always and that pretty much is it. So yeah, I'm out.